health and longevity in esotericism. What really causes disease and shortens one's life today, we are going to touch on the topic of health, and how knowledge of esotericism helps to remove the causes of disease and prolong one's life. In our world, it is considered the norm to have a bouquet of chronic diseases, even at a relatively young age. Everybody has it now. That's how modern doctors reassure their patients. Gastritis, pancreatitis, viruses, IBS, chronic fatigue this is considered the norm. Reserve of energy of the person in Aquarius era is about 120 to 130 years of effective life. At the same time a person lives approximately 80 years and by the age of 50 he already gets a lot of diseases and constant brokenness. Where does another 35 to 40 years of fruitful life, given to us by the highest law at birth, go? Why do we lose this beautiful time of wise maturity? Why are we really sick? Some of the main reasons are negativity, lying to others and ourselves, lack of happiness, and joy in life. About the other causes we will talk further. We are accompanied by a constant stress. 21 century is the age of the global flow of information, the internet, television, hundreds of forums and all kinds of books. People strive for super-efficiency, every day you need to make decisions and have time for everything. And it turns out for us, spasms of the blood vessels, blood clots, overstrain of the psyche. Under such conditions, any, even the most well-established system, can fail. It is important for man at least sometimes to stop his hurry, vanity, and desire to have everything at once. How to help yourself and your loved ones to stay healthy. First, you need to calm down and remember the example of the turtle. Not in vain calm and imperturbable turtle lives as much as 170 years. When you are nervous, worried, when you do not know how to act stop and relax. The practice of the renewed third step is very good in this case, imagine lightning, and say to yourself, let God decide what is right. If you have already gone through the renewed third stage, use this method everywhere. Take away the responsibility and unnecessary stress and learn to trust the higher forces. This method will give you both inner calm and energetic strength and a smooth change in your life toward happiness, health and achievement of your met objectives. I want to share with you my opinion on some diseases. Here are some human traits that inevitably lead to various diseases, resentfulness to cancer, disappointment to hypertension, lying to depression, anger eventually leads to self-poisoning, digging in the past to vascular disease, envy to head disease, self-inhibition and hyper-responsibility to diabetes, dreams and their unrealization to lower back diseases, unwillingness to make decisions to kidney disease, unwillingness to focus on a specific goal leads to genital disease. There is another reason that leads to disease it's blaming and looking for someone to blame. You may find this interesting. While having cancer, blaming doctors, spinning endlessly and criticizing the whole world, I was constantly trying to find the guilty or the obligated. I owed money. I was bad to people, to loved ones, to the state. I was not happy about anything in life. I blindly believed that everyone was like that and not just me. So all of this was a lie. This lie was that I was living in a self-imposed, my own program. My conclusion is this, as a flower of happiness, as the only element of my own salvation, I need to develop the ability to feel joy in my heart with every fiber of my being. This is the only thread that can give happiness, health and a new destiny to you. I too have felt bad, I too have been hurt and hurt, I too have been betrayed, I too have had no luck, I too have failed. Now you will write me comments, how can you feel if they, if the state, if neighbors, if furniture, if money, if husband. And you know, so did I, just like you once said. But you just need to stop blaming. Start paying attention to your inner feelings, that's the most important thing. Transform them. Look for opportunities to find joy within yourself. Look for joy, it is the beginning of happiness. How to apply esotericism in the treatment of diseases, how to help yourself and your loved ones to live a long, full, active life I tell you in my new book Magical Methods of Treatment of Man.